Welcome back to RimWorld, JC here. And as I said last time, it's time to work on the gate and firing lines. And, and then maybe some research. Maybe I'll dabble in the, the great atomic annihilation. It costs a lot of silver to get into that. Might not be a, a worthwhile endeavour right this very moment. Let's schedule all this for deconstruction. some columns as well and a manhunter pack oh god this is not going to be easy I'm still going to select it all for deconstruction right what have we got what what is now manhunting us we Oh no, no, they're cute. I am being manhunted by a pack of Norwegian forest cats. They're cute as all fuck, but I'm gonna have to gun them down. They're gonna have to go. So we're gonna have to get everybody because I'm gonna need some cannon fodder. Out you come, chaps! Kitty cats may get here before you. Oh. Okay. Um. Now they're gonna come around this way. So. <laughs> this is not brilliant, but I'm gonna use them as meat shields. Yes, when they die. Ah, oh, no, this is bad. Quick, intercept them. But do help your buddy out. Because if he dies, oh god, oh dear. Um, run away. <laughs> Flee, friend. Flee. Right, um, go, 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 go get tended, because if you bleed out, they explode. That's it, go on. You're all good. There's, there's no more. All the bad kitties, they're all gone now. Ugh. That was traumatising, that was. Right, well, now's a good chance to set up the crematorium. Right, I'm going to need to do this forever, and this is to burn... ...human-like corpses. Uh, yep, just the humans. Burn the humans. Burn the strangers, not the colonists, just the strangers. That's fine. That can be done forever. That's your basic raider cleanup. After that, we need to go, um, not humans, animals that have become rotten because that's what happens with a, uh, a manhunter pack they are infected by a disease that is a 50 50 chance of whether they'll be normal or they'll instantly become rotten so you gotta go clean them up 
Now, one thing I did forget in here is we also want insect corpses. Nobody likes insects. I don't like insects. I hate the big honking bugs. They are evil, nasty creatures. And nobody likes eating bug meat. Nobody. Ever. You could even turn bug meat into nutrient paste and they'd still know it was bug meat. I don't know how special magical abilities. But nevertheless, there we go. And the last thing I need to do is I need to burn certain drugs. Um, age pill. No, that's safe. Ambrosia, I need that for later on. So if I collect any, I want to keep it in frozen storage. Antibiotics are useful. Beer is useful. Cigarellos can go. Deworm needed. Feather duster joint can get the fudge out of my flake. Can go. Blueies can stay. Go juice goes. Honey mead. Good. Ibuprofen. Yep. Luciferium can go die in a black hole. Stuff is evil. Basically, if you have a quick read there, what basically happens is it's brilliant. It'll heal old wounds. It makes you nigh on invulnerable to damage. You are nigh on immortal. But as it says in the small second paragraph, after the first dose, there's no way to get the mechanites out. Ever. Devil's bargain. Because they um once you start, you can't stop. And if you stop, uh yeah. Causing continuous berserker rages and eventual death. You burn that stuff as soon as you see it on your area. Because especially if you've got somebody with chemical interest, you can't store it. Because what they'll do is they'll go, ooh, this random thing, I've got an interest. Nom, nom, nom. Then you've got to murder them. Because you can't supply it. You can't make it. You can only buy it or find it. Evil stuff. Right, Mecha gone. Yes, very handy. Just fibrous and sensory mechanites. Evil, nasty stuff. Anoxicillin. Age old classic. Keep that. Potassium iodide. Yeah, I'm going to need that if I accidentally have a radiation uh, issue. Psychite tea. Yes, I'm going to be burning tea because that's addictive tea and I have a non-addictive alternative. Oil jelly is also addictive. Smoke leaf joint, addictive. Poison. Wake up, yayo. All of these are all addictive drugs. Um, just having a look. Yep. Do forever. That's the colony now safe. Apart from the fact that JC doesn't have chemical interest, so he'd never actually touch it unless I ordered him to. Let's just... Um... Look. Nothing's death there. Go. Get. Rest. Before you explode. Right. You're going to go there. The ER bot needs to tend to you now. Oh. There we go. Coolant loss. Well, he hasn't died of it, so that's fine. But we did have to use standard medicine. So that was a bit painful. There's also half a ton of coolant all over the floor. God damn it. Coolant and droid zero. 
Damn it, Dave. You had one thing. Don't leak coolant everywhere. Uh, you got... You, you've lost a pinky there, friend. Um, I think we've got some droid parts that allow me to fix that. Uh, requires one droid repair kit. Okay, use the droid repair kit to fix the droid. Because it's going to continue leaking and you can't patch it. So use the droid repair kit, please. Thank you. Okay, I need you to go and... kind of really do need him to go to his bed <laughs> apparently they're heading off over here to burn these corpses okay let's delete that a mad hair just can a man not sleep for a bit without being attacked by murderous animals Go on. Get in the position. Gun it down. Dealt with. Okay, that's it. I'm going to order you. Whoops. Rest until healed. Stop leaking coolant all over the base. Sit there, get healed. Yeah. That's light threatening coolant loss. Yeah, all because but it's fixed now. But as you can see, yeah, you can't patch that, so you have to use a repair key. I don't even know why the repair parts are there, but hey. Oh. Well, if they use the repair kit, that'll f refill his coolant as well. It'll fix the pinky. Has decided to leave. Excellent. Goodbye, sir. Um, we're glad you managed to survive. So you won't be leaving anytime soon because you're moving so slowly. Never mind. Why have these kitty cats not been taken? Oh, because they're dealing with the humans first, of course. <sighs> Half a ton of piece put the wire back in. Just the coolant. Just the coolant leak everywhere. It's just everywhere. Makes the base look disgusting. Because basically that's what it ends up as. We'll have one for that and one for unknown. Apart from the fact that, yeah, they don't actually need a bed, but, eh. It comes up with an annoying warning, like you saw in the first few episodes. Oh, what are we getting at? We are getting there. Right. That needs to be hauled off. Then, once all this is constructed, then they'll start work on this. Good. This is actually a text message I need to have a look at. Right, well I'm going to go quiet for a moment while I deal with this. This is actually an important text message. And um, please watch the two droids building the front line.
Right, there we go, finished, dealt with that. That was one mad panic dealt with. Just in time to have the, uh, the base all secure. Now they're going to start work on that. I am going to delay them ever so slightly. Oh, actually, I'm not going to delay them ever so slightly. Once that shredder turret's finished, I can put in the initial bits of defense. Yeah, there'll be a shredder turret there, a normal one. It's not the finite design. Because there'll be. Oh, good God. They're dropping in all over the place. We're being raided by three dudes. This is not good. Pistol and hand cannon and a hand cannon. Oh god. Right. Quick, strip as much as you can. <sighs> what has he been downed because of? Because it took him so long to walk out. His dehydration and malnutrition <laughs> and other things have gotten him. Sorry, friend. I'm just gonna put you out of your misery. This is not going to be easy. coming get in stand behind there if anybody tries to get in stab them or beat them Deal with the people walking across the front line here. Oh, God. Well, this didn't go according to plan. I lost the droid. might be able to heal you in time but it's unlikely so I'm going to steer clear of him for a little while but yeah I lost the droids Seriously, do need some. Uh... I need some more stuff. I can replace them. Um, you're about to die. Why don't you rest until healed? Are you still leaking? No, but most of you has been destroyed and 
That was the last of my medicine. So if JC comes down with something nasty, that's it. Nothing. Can't do anything about it. So that has been a um, pair of raids that have... That was a raid and a manhunter pack that has completely drained all of my medical supplies. I tell you to do this. Maybe, just maybe, there's been some some herbs that have been have grown up, but I doubt it. There's nothing wrong with him. It's not leaking anywhere. There you go. He's actually regenerating coolant. Oh, good. A shredder turret. Let's see if we can stop this from ever happening again. By going... Security. There we go. I want a shredder turret. Just there. And I want a military grade turret just there. That's the basis of the defense. It's all well and good having all of this, but yeah, you get like a manhunter and stuff like that. And yeah, just. You get fudgemed quick in this game. Oh, wow, a, a Bengal cat with uh, two hours left to live. I couldn't actually get out there in time to save this poor thing. There we go. And caravan animals wandered in. What have you got on you? Radiation soup and some wheat and components. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah, no. You don't actually have any medical supplies. If you had medical supplies, there's a good chance I'd take them. But they don't. So I'm going to have to see uh, about the jobs and stuff now. Yeah, because this was the one that's supposed to do the hauling and the cleaning before most other things. Ah, uh, uh, fine. I'm going to have to install this thing temporarily. build another droid. I wasn't actually intending to have to do. Well that slowed things down but at least it didn't happen while I was still building the outer wall. So we're not completely fudged. We're just mostly fudged because I have no more medicine. And nobody's come to trade and a few other things. Just not getting an awful lot of good things happening. Nothing good has happened. That's an interesting way of putting it. At least I'm not going to run out of food anytime soon, as long as I'm putting up with simple meals made out of meat. 
Has that been installed yet? Okay, what I'm going to tell you to do is do that. Okay, get on with that. Oh, chunks of spacecraft have landed nearby. Why is the Ambrosia being stored in there? That's bamboo. Manufactured drugs, even though it's grown. There we go. That should be stored in there because it needs to be. Also, oh, now, didn't because I didn't click on that thing quick enough, I now don't know where those chunks landed, so I have to go to here. Oh. Oh, don't care about that. Ah, show messages. That's helpful. It just says, yeah, things have landed in your area. I'm not going to show you where. So now I'm going to have to go looking for that because that's steel and components up oh, there. There we go. One ship chunk. That was it. That's all that landed. Single ship chunk. The annoying thing is this guy is just hauling and not actually going to be building. It's the one that died was doing all the building. But until I force this Muppet to start building. Okay, no. Look. Get on and build things. Construct. Um, your growing also needs to be a lot higher. Your mining's a lower priority now. Right, please construct stuff. I'd also like you to repair the walls, because those walls are about to die. Wow, him exploding there did a number on these walls. Takes a while for them to repair stuff. That's fine. That one's almost dead. When he comes back, you can you can do that, then that. Like build this thing. Immensely important that you build the thing. We have more than enough power to supply them. Stay outside my ground, otherwise I will train the turret on you. Eventually. Urgh. Well, this is what happens in RimWorld, you get setbacks. Do I need more steel? Or did you not just haul, or did not haul enough? Yeah, you couldn't haul enough. Okay. That that's fine. Um, I'm gonna need to start crafting a worker bot. Why is it droid one? Oh no no no, it's not droid one. It's droid zero. There you go, it's gonna be droid zero. I mean, actually, no, what I could do is actually just do it like this and go, <laughs> yeah, no, Zero lost his life valiantly defending the colony. And also almost blowing JC up in the process. Slight technicalities with these droids. Hmm. I mean, using them as meat shields is probably not the best thing to do because of the whole they explode. 
But once these turrets are online, we'll be fine. These can even fend off mild attacks. Oh, oh more chunks. Brilliant. Deconstruct those as well. And they're inside my base, so, you know. That's mine. Right, let's get on with this. Low medicine is concerning. Um, the same with the no food has been prepared. What's going on? Were you... Was the other one the cook as well? Yeah, the other one was the cook. Okay. When you're done sleeping, cook yourself some meals. Ah, summer has begun. Mm, that's nice. Are these all fully grown? No, they're not fully grown yet. They're getting there, but they're not fully grown yet. I don't have much in the way of text I was at all. Oh, there you go. He's going to start making his meals. There's four meals. There you go, mate. That should work until another droid comes off the production line. Which is not being done because look stock the thing it's really important like, super important that this thing is actually stocked with the necessary ingredients to actually start production boom Excellent, right. We'll actually have a replacement so I can actually get things back online again. Should have come with like a cleaning one of these because. Why were you praying at the sink? All right, that's it, gone. Oh, once you've finished doing a little bit of research, you'll go and clean up. Okay. Wow. He's done. Boom. Finished. Right, let's uh, uninstall that because that's taking up space. It's not a lot of power, but it's taking up space. So let's get this set. Your top priority is actually to do cooking. Shouldn't do hunting. There we go, right. One on construction and then mining, the other one on plant growing, and then we'll double back onto that. Don't bother with nuclear. There we go, right. Haul and clean if you've got nothing else to do. There we go, that should restore everything back to normal.
Excellent. Right. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. Poof. Moving at fifty percent speed. Okay. One repair kit. All right. Use the one repair kit and repair all those bits. Do need to make more, but until I've got an unlimited supply of uh, components, it's not going to happen anytime soon. You're going to go to the medical bay? That's it. And the joint. There you go. He woke up. There we go. Full speed. Ah. Well. That was, um, an issue. And... Yep, some idiots outside are having an argument. <sighs> Noisy buggers. Do you know I'm recording in here? Unsocial sods. And take your arguments elsewhere. <laughs> and maybe go full grumpy old man mode. Eh. Brew some tea and chuck a cup in your face. Like, drink some tea. Shut up, fool. Doesn't work. He more just splashes over them and then they get really annoyed, but it was worth it. Also, shadows do not really work very well in this game. Apparently, there's a whopping great hole in this wall to create a shadow like that. Unless it's actually a useful animal. No. Oh, that's not useful. There's only one breed of cat in this game that is actually useful. And that would be a Maine Coon. Because it can actually do all the stuff a normal animal can. All the other cats are untrainable. So are about as much use as a chocolate teapot. So go on, put it out of its misery and drag it in for noms. Yep, there we go. Dealt with. More noms. Spores in 1.7 days. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Right, what have we got? We've got somebody on haul and yeah, okay. Construct, mine, haul, clean. So, once Droid 1's finished pulling all this stuff down, he'll go and haul all the stuff away. Which is fair enough, I guess. I mean, yeah, if I really want to make this even better, I'll convert a lo large area to mud. slows everything down. Mortars! Right, well, now I can mortar things to death. Apart from the fact I don't actually have the chem fuel for it. Chem fuel pond. How does that even work? Did you just... no. Maybe you need some special... I don't know, social building or something? Natural source of chem fuel. More co common in arid biomes. A chem fuel pump can be installed here to extract the chem fuel. Yep. I think on that note, we've had some ups and some downs, but uh, 
The defences are online. The firing lines are mostly open now. As you can see, it's got a nice good range on it. It's a shotgun. I'm amazed it's even got a range that far. But we do have some automated defences on the front lines, so we can worry a little less about raids. Only a little less. And on that note, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is JC, out.